2019, December 16, uh, Monday. It's just past nine o'clock. Um, we are at um, Sarsfeld. This is the farthest student accommodation where we're parking. And uh, we are planning on doing uh, two cup today. There's two cup in the middle of the frame. And uh, perhaps go a little bit beyond. Apparently you can go past your cup, across the mountains, down into the valley, all the way around to Herald. And then from Herald you can come back down the Craddock um, Oxwagon Trail to Witfontein and you can make a very long circle route of that. But I suppose that'll take me uh, two or three days to complete. Um, there's George Peak and Craddock Peak to our left hand side. up in front so we'll probably be walking through a, a bit of forest here at the beginning and then uh, the two-track road should start opening up and um, yeah then we'll see how it goes okay it's uh it's about 20 past nine uh, we've come to a, a t-junction there's a turn off to the left hand side. We're not going to take that. That's where we've come from. And that's the way we're going. Just a couple of paces down the road. It's still 20 past 9 or 25 past 9. And uh, there's another split in the road here to the, the left. Um, I believe all these roads to the left go to, um, go to the Garden Route Dam. Cole, just hang on a minute. Uh, there's a sign that I want to get quickly. I'll be back shortly. There's a hillbilly cycling sign which says this road goes to the Pepsi Pools. Pepsi Pools is another popular spot to go and visit. It's a quick hike to the Pepsi Pools. We're going up the hill there. Looks like there's another split over there as well. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb. Black okay, let's go. Starting to go slightly up. Yeah. I think this is where the climb starts. Oh. Okay. There's a construction site here. In oh, front. yeah. Yeah. They were busy a while back, they were busy with excavators and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's Tukup. Yeah, there's a split, but that sign, that hillbilly sign over there says Tukup. Oh, I don't see another sign towards the right hand side, so. Okay, okay this says Tukup Tuya. So this might be the second Tukup road. Oh. The other one might be the first Tukup road. And I believe they, they make a circle route. Is, is this the one coming down? Okay, so we're going to go up and down. It's easier to get up here. All of them are here. This is also up there, but I think that you have to get out of here. And you have to get out of the other side. Yes, yes. Okay, whatever. It's easier to get out of here. Up there. Okay, great. No problem. Okay, so we're going to go up there. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go up there. I've never seen him before. Then you're the expert on us. Yeah, you know him better than us. Here's another sign that says Tirkop 1. Where? I hope that gets on the video. Right. Are you taking still shots now? No, it's video running. Oh. All the time. Nice in the forest. Yes, I was just about to say. It's nice and cool. Nice and cool for now. Shaded. Yeah. Indigenous forests like oh, nice. sure. yellow woods standing all around. Yeah. Yellow.
Okay, it's about 25 to 10 on my watch. And we've just come out of the forest. I'm just going to turn around to get that. Here's the forest that we've just come out of. So, here we go. One kilometer <laughs> already. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's about 20 to 10 on my watch. There seems to be uh, a bar across the way. Don't go that way. We're just following the road. And there's a view to our right hand side. Let's get out from behind the trees here. <laughs> few trees just standing in the way just blurring the shot a little bit but this is this is more open oops we're right in the middle of it and that might be looking towards wilderness or herald's uh, big bay, big bay. Uh, there's sosfot campus that's where we parked behind those trees okay call wait here i'm just going to take a couple of shots here from behind the trees Uh, there's always a tree in the way. Right, let's get off the road and stand on the rock and that's where we park. So that's about a kilometer away from... This is about a kilometer away from where we park. Um, and then when you go along that dirt road where the black car is driving now, it's going to turn or drive past the dirt road there just behind that treetop and then if you follow that dirt road down the hill into the valley there's the dirt road between the trees that I can see into the valley you get down to the Kaiman's Weir and that's a nice swim spot you can swim right way up into the valley it is amazing down there and then there's a path across the the opposite hill that I can see as well And we're going to turn to the left, along the left-hand side of the Kaimans Valley. Yeah, it's about 5 to 10 on my watch. And there's Tukup. And that might be Skirbeberg. I'm not exactly sure which one is Skirbeberg, but I've heard the name. I've read it on the internet at least. And then that's the Kaimans Valley going down. And Sarsfeld is just disappearing behind the trees over there. And probably Wilderness or Victoria Bay that way to the horizon. And there's George Peak and Craddock Peak just sticking out above the road. And I suspect the railway um, horseshoe bend is in that general direction relatively close to where we are at the moment perhaps not the top of that hill but maybe the next hill and if you'll notice Cole is walking without a sighted guide he's just following the sign of the footsteps because the road is fairly flat and easy to navigate He's actually playing a game with Hundru in front. Um, follow the leader kind of thing out here, I guess. Yeah, it's about five past ten. And uh, here's the Garden Route Dam. Oops, stepping in a hole there. It's the Garden Route Dam, I hope you can see that. This is a fairly long, relatively steepish incline. And you just got to keep at it, one foot in front of the other. There's a nice 
nice window. I hope we can get that. And that's where we parked down there between the trees. It's about 10 past 10 on my watch. There's a garden route dam, relatively clear view. Island in the middle, another island further down. And there's the town. And that's probably Voldenus there. So what we have been seeing, the, the horizon that we saw over there was probably towards Big Bay Way. And there's Voldenus. And looking towards Neisner. There's George Peak and Product Peak coming up. Yeah, it's about quarter past nine on my watch and there were some radio masts and solar panels on the left hand side of the road looking towards the town behind the bushes um, the road is leveling out now so there's there's two cop yeah looks like this is the service the access service road towards the, the radio mast and this the solar panels George Peak and Credo Peak. And there's the Centec Tower just above our first little hill horizon over here between the bushes. I don't know if you can see it on the video. I'll try to zoom in there. Okay. I let my pa gelap die ou se wille het so deel te maak, maar my pa weet nie wat by die draai nie. Hy gaan binnenkant toe, iemand slaan om bars die taaier. Oh. Toe het iemand om weeg slaan toe, was die toete waterpijp gebars. Oh man. En die bamperheid achter gebars. Klink soos krokkaars nie, stok. Yes, this is quiet. Ok, ons. Ons stamp, maar die eerste ronde moet die mens twee keer petrol klats, twee keer petrol klats, om so te speel. Maar as jy omhoud draai, moet jy om trap, want drift jy by die draai. Oh, yes. Ok, it's about going on to 20 past 9 on my watch now. Daar is ons 10 hier in Bedwees. Ok. There's a sign over here that says Sasselt. That's the way we've come. And then there's a bend over here, and we suspect that this path goes up the hill, around the mountain, circle route around the mountain, and then it comes back down here, and we'll probably take the bend around and come back to Tirkop 2, where the, where the road split at the bottom, where we weren't sure which way to go. That might be the Tirkop 2 way. We came up the Tirkop one way. There's a nice view of George and Craddock and Centic Tower. Ah, near this Craddock guy. Yeah, George Peak is the Linker Kansi. Healings of Thailand. Die links daar so, ja, op jou vinger links. Dis reg eentje en die, en dan Kruk Piek is die kant hier. Maar hoekom sê nou daar is een challenging gedeelte daar by Kruk? Net die laaste stikkie voordat jy by die werkelijke piek van Kruk Piek klim, by Kruk Piek kom, is daar een stikkie roodsklim so 2 of 3 meter hoog wat jy moet, net so'n bykie scramble. Ja, dat is makkelijk. Daar is echter, aan jou achterkant as jy daar opklim, is daar iets soos 100 meter af val, precipice. So, ons sal nie net kaal daar die kant toe kyk nie. Yeah, it's about 
10 to 11 on my watch. And there towards Vic Bay Wilderness, Dolphin Point, there's some gliders, paragliders. I think they're too far away to, to get on this to get on this shot, but I'll I'll try to zoom in on the on the post-production editing. This little hill over here was fairly steep and it's carrying on steep and around the bend and then over there path carries on around the corner that might be the way back and over here in front the path might split towards our right hand side yeah, it's about 5 to 11 there's a get a footprint on the rock and a white footprint next to it and route marker indicating that we take the right turn over here and I don't know if you can see it but there's a single track path running along the edge around the bend this is Tikup here we have some other intrepid hikers coming along and it's the view of the town Gordon Rue Dam Sosfeld Vic Bay Dolphin Point and the gliders wilderness the lakes area, Swatflay, Grunflay, the Kaimans Gorge. Skirweberg, I think. This is torture! <laughs> the parents are making us do this! Okay. Okay. Like a fellow. There's a rock in the way. Okay, it's about 10 past 11 on my watch, and uh, we're taking the one way around uh, Tirkop now. Just stop a bit. Looking up, there's the top of Tirkop. And then. Oh, no, but you look at my stuff, so no, no. Let's prate this on the video. Let's take this a bit in the view. Yeah. Yeah, you view is not for me good enough, and that's alright. Sorry, Neil, block us. Yeah, Can you hand him the half for a bit? Can you get off? No, it's very off, it's so hard. Well, lekker. Yeah, it's a fairly steep incline yeah, down. Yeah, I can feel. Hello. Bye. Bye. Nee, ek hoor niks al onder nie. Tjaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
providing a bit of shade. Mm. So we're just taking a quick break and talking about plants. It's about 25 past 11 on my watch and coming around the mountain. I think that's Gerberberg. Quite an imposing view. Oops. Five and a half Five and a half kilometers from where we parked. Yeah, sign us here called Fight. Want um, ek het by die kar al gestaar. My auto pause ook as ons twee. Nee, hy auto pause nie my nie. Is dit van die kar af? Ja. Ek weet nie waar die eindelijk haal ek, maar begin nie. Is dit makkelijk om nou weer bietjie breed? Ja. Ja. Dit is een makkelijke paaikje, ons loop eindelijk baie rustig. Yes. Some bigger, some smaller. That's right. <laughs> I think we should be coming up on the hut oh. somewhere around oh, the corner here. Is it not here, Linky? Okay. Want ek wil om nou hier om die draai sien, man. Okay. My squid. It's about 25 to 12 and there we have our first sighting of the Tirkop hut in that little necky between the two hills. There's the top of Tirkop on our left hand side and then there's a path running across the ridge to our right hand side of the hills into the valleys. Four minutes later, coming up to 22.12 and there's a better view of the hut. Coming up to the back door or the front door or... I don't know. There's a pipe across the way, okay. stepping over. Yep. Water pipe. Yep. Okay, got it. Got it, right. And here we are. Here's a sign that says Sarsfeld. <laughs> and slight incline. And bright place. Got a fireplace over here on the on the, on the ground with some charcoal lying around. Yeah. Well, I think this this is really good for sorg. Yeah. Like as if we mean to prepare it to a mooi clip grens hier rondom te pak. Ja, so het lyk asof hulle net sommer net 'n klompe Lucas was wat net wil vuur maak. Okay, let's see what there is to see. We got some shade. Uh, but they stole the light bulb and they broke the wires. And no wonder they've got it locked up under lock and key. Hello, sorry? What, I heard all the way. What's in there that friend for? Uh, bedding I suppose. Oh yeah. But here's a, here's a electricity box. Where? That they've uh, broken into and they've like, ripped yeah. the wires. And How are the windows are there? Uh, we haven't got windows on this Not, side. Nothing. Oh, nothing. nothing this side. Just doors, we've got uh, one, fine. two, three, four, five doors. Yeah. All of them are locked up ah. behind um, burglar trellising except this one yeah. which 
I don't know, they might have stolen the door off the hinges. <laughs> and the door is locked. I think these might be the toilets, they're also behind lock and key. There's the path up the hill. Okay, so it goes straight up here to Tidakul? Yes, to or the top of the hill. Or we go past to go around? That's right. Okay. And we are probably going to go past eventually. Yeah, but we can to go, around. go up the hill. You say it's not, how much higher? No, it's like, want. I can make out the details of the rocks at the top at the oh, moment. Yeah. Well, it looks like that's the top. So about another 100 to 200. Yeah, about. From, from where I'm standing, the, the view that I can see. Yeah. I mean, in vertical rise, about a hundred. Oh, vert no, it's not even a hundred. Ach, yeah. It's like uh, 50, Let's see where we are. Yeah, the right. the 681 is where we're at at the moment. And we started at 237. 237, yeah. So 436. 450. 56, 450, yeah. So. Yeah, but I think they said it's at 800, maybe. Okay. If yeah. that. Yeah. Somebody said at 600. I, so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, shall we go around? Yeah. Where Looks like the people are on the other side. Oh, uh, let me just put this on. Oh, they're just exploring the, the hut the other side. Yeah, or perhaps parking in the shade and having some lunch. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Because we ain't trying to break in here. Yeah. <laughs> There's some. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine doors. Yeah. Uh, eight of them are behind burglar barring, burglar proofing, <laughs> and uh, the middle one is door stolen off the hinges. Yeah. Okay. Step down. Step down. Step down. Step down. Step down. There we go. Cool. Looks like that might be the way to the bathroom. Oh, so there's a separate bar. Looks like a long drop, perhaps. Oh no. <laughs> you just find a key then. There's a window also behind lock and key. Oh, not broken? No, not broken, thankfully. Amazing. And some more windows behind burglar boring. Oh, nice. Message in the bottle. <laughs> okay. Right. Here's yeah, the view to the to the town. What's this side, Harold? Uh no, we're looking down at George. Oh, so George. Oh, okay. We can actually see Mossel Bay Is in the distance. Nice photo of you can take a photo of this, yes. Uh, there's a path towards the right-hand side up the hill. That's the one that I still want to do. Oh. To see where it goes, and, and there's Craddock Peak. There's George Peak. And there's another path, I think that is the old Otaniqua path. Um, the Otaniqua trail and it comes down into the valley to the old George Dam. Not, not the old George Dam, the George Dam. And then you come back out the valley up the hill and you hit this dirt track and you come back up to Tirkop. <laughs> I saw that new YouTube post. <laughs> <laughs> excuses, excuses. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's about quarter past 12. Starting the climb to the top of Tukup. Let's see how long it takes. That took us 15 minutes, I think. Yeah, just under 15 minutes. It's about half past 12 now. Going on to half past 12 and this is the top. Have some antennas and dishes and solar panels and there's another mast with nothing on it. Here's the view you're looking for. Here's the garden route down. And Sosfeld. And Wilderness. And I can still see some paragliders above Kaiman's Pass and Dolphin's Point. Wilderness. The lakes. Yeah, that's that's the Caymans River. George Peak. And there's a Centic Tower just sticking out behind that bridge. Looking towards Marshall Bay and George. And those are the, the water reservoirs just above Dinnerwood. And the airstrip just behind this mast in front of us now. See if I can get a better way. view. Sorry. There's the bend we passed this morning and took the turn off towards the east. And this afternoon, going back down now, we'll go around around the front along the dirt road, and that dirt road will come out over there. And then follow the bend down back to Sarsfeld. It's about 25 to 1, we're still on top of Tukop and I've discovered a view down to the railway horseshoe where we were um, a weekend or two ago. So this is the view from the other side. And then there's the Otaniqua path along that ridge. I can actually see the George Dam wall from where I'm standing here. And you can see the path, the Otaniqua path coming down towards the dam wall and then you can walk across the wall and up on the other side and there's a path coming up and it'll connect with the, the two-track dirt road that we're going to follow later on at some point so you can walk all the way from Witfontein from Glenbarry um, on the Otaniqua trail across the dam wall and then up to Dukop yeah Okay, it's coming up to one o'clock. Five to one. And there's the hut down there. Just getting a view coming down the trail. It's the view up the hill. Okay, it's going on to ten past one on my watch and we're heading back home walking around Tukup uh, there's the hut just behind us and here we go 
Yeah. It's just past 10 past 1 and this is the path coming up from um, the George Dam down there in the valley. There's the hut just behind us, we can see the hut. Still cop. Okay, it's about half past one. Here we are at the at the bend where we turned off on the onto the single track this morning again. Let's just get that again. Yeah. Okay, it's just about two o'clock on my watch. And see the end on the right hand side more direct. And I'll come back here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come as lift. Our lift is coming. The bucky. The bucky is coming down. Lock it off. It's not allowed yet. The foot there, the foot. Okay, it's about 10 plus 2. There's the, the horseshoe, the horseshoe bend in the railroad. Centric Tower, George Peak, Crudder Peak. And the time to our left inside. And there's Tirkop. We've got dark branches all around. That's about it's about twenty past two. And I've just realized we've transitioning into a sort of a what are these wattles? They used to be wattles, a burnt wattle forest or something. Yeah, that, that looks like wattle bark. So it's a different terrain. It looks a little bit differently. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is the end of the day. Verleden Saturday had. Francois Jens is with us on the Well, Francois, yeah. And he has said that there is a big cop in his house. And the wifey comes out of the night. And then he makes all the geikies in the in in nest. He makes a hill. Because there is a small paradise. But it seems that the geikies climb and their eiers come in the big cop eiers. Or the small spinner cop is going to lay. And then is this basis the food for the paradise. Ja, nee. Alle andere tricks. En is bad. Half past two, and we're entering the green forest again. Take a view back. Yeah, it's about 22, 3, and that's the Tirkop 2 section that we've just come down. There's the Pepsi Pool Way. This is where we split this morning. Just 
still about 20 to 3. Here's the other turn off towards the Garden Route Dam, I presume. This is the way home. Right, it's about uh, going on to 10 to 3, and we're back at the cars. And that's where we were this morning. Do you cop? Ja, dat is lekker geweest. Ja, maar ze die alle rennen ver pa je toe gestapt niet. Ik is toen een inlet staf voor niet. Ik is ook blij. 11.9 kilometer totaal. Is dit? Ja, oké, dit is alle afstanden.